we were here today bringing together people from the construction industry together with people keen on improving safety for cyclists, improving conditions for cyclists in London. And uh, we had a really interesting discussion from people who had done research on why there are so many accidents, uh, including HGV uh, drivers and cyclists, and also looking at ways that we can improve the environment, improve parking for uh, bicycles within developments, and also how we can improve the way that cities work. I must say I've heard some very promising, very interesting talks. Uh, for instance, the examples in, in uh, Walthampton Stowe, uh, but also in, uh, what is it, um, uh, Leonard Circus, uh, the sort of integrated solutions for, for these areas, which I think are very promising, because I think integration is maybe one of the key things uh, we have to sort of work on. We're taking bicycles off the road and land routes, and we're putting them on a floating corridor. And second, we're rejecting the traditional approaches to energy and dependency by generating 100% clean technology. I never really feel things are happening fast enough in London, but actually uh, they are beginning to speed up at the moment. I think as we look towards uh, a new mayoralty in May 2016, Boris Johnson wants to leave a legacy of projects that he's uh, come up with, so like the uh, cycle superhighways, uh, the quiet ways, the London grid, all these things are things he wants to complete before he leaves and we hope also that a new mayor will actually take up the baton and also support the idea of better cycling for London.